So GNOME 40 was a very big leap forward for the GNOME shell, and I personally like it, but some people might feel that it was too much of a leap forward, and uh, I think this extension, which just came out today at the time of recording this video, uh, could possibly help people who would like to make the change but weren't so sure about it. This extension is called Vertical Overview, and I am going to show you what it has to offer. So, as you can see, it does exactly as you would expect it to. It moves the dock to the left, it moves the workspaces to the right, uh, we have our dash button, or our, uh, uh, we have our show applications button on the dash up on the top. The animations are, are just are just perfect. It, it does a, a very good job with what it's supposed to do. So I want to show you a couple of the options that we have here, of course. We can change the size of the dash, so we're gonna make that 50, and it makes it just a, a weeny bit smaller. We can actually go as far as to change the minimum dash to 1, <laughs> which I think is quite funny. We have the ability to hide the dash in its entirety, and I, I don't really know why you would really want to do that, because I think the dash is very, a very integral part of the GNOME experience. Um, we can, uh, no, out of the box it doesn't do this, but we have the ability to show the background uh, of our, uh, show our wallpaper in the background uh, in the overview, which I think a lot of GNOME 3 users will find perfectly at home. Uh, and we just we just have a lot of options here, which I think uh, people would would like coming from GNOME three. Um, now now personally personally I I am very fine with the way it looks out of the box, but I know that like I said some people liked GNOME three. Um, I'd say if you like to be on the bleeding edge and you really want that old layout back, then uh, what's stopping you? Uh, give it a shot, and uh, if you if you don't like to be on the bleeding edge and you really prefer GNOME 3, I'd say stick it out with uh, with Debian Ubuntu uh, a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. Uh, but but with that being said, uh, thank you for watching. I hope this video was of any minor convenience to you, and have a wonderful day.